brought out the pink Lamborghini just to race with China. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Black China, and I'm about to break down the lyrics on Between the Lines. Writing music is like a hard thing, and to like actually plug in names and still make it make sense, that's even fire. I love it, and I love like the shout outs and stuff like that. I appreciate it a lot. My first song I've ever recorded, like I drove all the way to like Long Beach and it was like at somebody's house in the back garage. It was so hot. Since then, like I've actually built a studio in my house. So I just go over there and I can record whenever I want. The thing about music is it's a total different thing from, from television. When you start recording music and you go inside that booth, it's a different, it's a whole different vibe because you got to like let people feel how you feel through the mic. Miss Me by Drake. Call up King of Diamonds and tell China it'd be worth the flight. I'll be at my table <laughs> stacking dollars to the perfect height. When I first heard it, I was like, wait, what? Drake put me in a song? What? Everybody's like, yo, Drake put you in a song. I'm like, stop, stop, stop. And then I heard it, I'm like, oh, he really put me, he really put me in a song. We came in there um, uh, with two other guys. I think it was CJ and somebody else. He definitely threw some money. Once when I was doing like my modeling and stuff, I would see like other girls' interviews and they'd be like, Oh, I'm a model, da da da. But when I did mine, I was like, Look, I'm a stripper. This is what it is. I'm gonna keep it real. So it was, it was, it was all good. <laughs> Sugar Parents by Amine. Look, baby, I am one of these old heads. If you give me black china, I'm gonna leave you on red. All right, so I guess if I start talking to him, then all the girls is gonna have to pay dust. I'm assuming that he's young, but I want to know how young because I feel like I'm an old head. No. I don't really have that many rappers in my DM. I got to check my DM actually. Break it up, Nicki Minaj. Brought out the pink Lamborghini just to race with China. <laughs> Brought the race to China just to race in China. <laughs> this is my third Nicki Minaj video that I was in. I have flew to Miami. Shot the video, we raced, actually won the race. I did that video and then I did um Come on the Comb. I was actually pregnant with King at the time, so like we shot it from like here up. Yeah, I mean Nikki, um when I I recorded a few songs and she was out here and I went to the studio and I played her um some of my songs, you know, any any new artist is gonna be nervous, you know what I mean? But aside from that, we're friends, so she's gonna be blunt and honest with me. And um, she listened to she listened to the rap one. She's like, "That's cool, that's good." But she really liked when I use more of like the girlier singing tone. My name is Corday. You see, I wear designer bags. I don't carry minor cash. I'm trying to find a stack big as Black China's ass. Get it? He trying to get them stacks. <laughs> I respect it. You know what? I'm like actually really cool with Corday, and I didn't even know he put me in a song. That's super dope. And I think actually, you know what? I think he's from the from the DMV too. So we're from the same place. So it was really good to like see somebody else, like, you know, on the come up and coming up, like from where I'm from. Ball Hard by Little Wayne. Pretty Tony, pretty Ricky. Ricky Martin, Martin Lawrence, Lawrence Taylor, Taylor Swift, Taylor Mate, Made in China, Black China, Black Mama, Baby Mama. Lady Gaga, Wait, Rihanna, Ball Hard, Sinead O'Connor. When I first heard it, I was like, wait a minute, Lil Wayne just said, like, China. And then it wasn't just in one part. It was, like, repetitive. Like, it was, I think he said it maybe three or four times throughout the whole song. Because normally, like, with a song, you just say the person named that one time. But then it was said again and again. I was like, whoa, that's hard. But what's crazy is I never danced for, I never danced for Wayne before. And it was like this picture that was circulating around. I'm like, I've never danced for him before. Dripping, how you love that by future. I got fine bitches on me just like China. Here's a chance for you to prove it, girl. Line up. I actually did one of um future's videos too. Rich sex. I don't know if you haven't seen it, but it was pretty good. I was always a stripper first. Like the modeling in the videos was like to the side. It wasn't like, okay, my career is like I want to do videos. So the videos that I did do in the past were like really like like upscale videos. You know, like Rake It Up, uh, Rich Sex, Rack City with Tiger. I wasn't just doing Joe Smo down the street. Money Showers by Fat Joe. 
I'm making right on them hoes. I got the amber vision. We in the back of the rose. Her and Black China kissing. I like the fact that it says in the back of a rose. That's cute. And I'm actually like cool with Fat Joe too. Like we did, um, there was a hip hop squares together. Like really cool. The whole terror squad is cool. I want a Benz YG. Hit the strip club. We make a mess. She clean it all up. Black China clean it all up. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I don't remember the night that YG came into the club. And I mean, I appreciate the song, the shout out, but it's so many people like going in and out the club. I don't remember that. I started dancing in DC when I was 18 and I had got accepted into Johnson and Wells University. I didn't move to Miami until I was 20 and I started going to school. Um, I just left all that stuff. I put whatever I could fit inside my, um, in my charger at the time, put it on the auto train and I was out of there and never looked back. I even like lived on the campus and stuff, but I was like, you know, I gotta get from my body here because these are little kids and I'm way too advanced for this. Like I gotta get out of here. So I got me my condo, but um, it was a good experience for me. I actually went there for um, business management and I learned a few things that helped me now in my career. Summer 16 by Cash Doll. Getting money, I'm a brag bitch. Riri made the niggas work. Black China, I'm a bad bitch. I mean, honestly, the word bitch, it depends on how you say it. Now, if you're being disrespectful with it, you already know what's going to happen. But if you're just talking to your girlfriends or whatever, you like, bitch, I got to tell you. Or bitch, ooh, that's a bad bitch. It's just different. It's, it's different layers to it. Yeah, me and um, Cash Doll, like, we talk, like, via text, or, like, we call each other and things like that, but I swear, like, we always, like, miss each other. Like, or um, I'm doing something or she's doing something, but she's super sweet. I'm gonna go put all these songs in my phone called The Black China Playlist. <laughs> Out of all of them that we played, I'm gonna have to go with Drake because that was the first song where people, through the sound waves, was able to hear the name Black China, you know, so... It's kind of dope to see his growth and then my growth. It's one thing to get a job and make money, but when and it's like, all right, I hate this job, but I'm making money, but I'm unhappy. You know what I mean? So then you're gonna make the people around you unhappy versus like, okay, being passionate about something that might not make you a lot of money right now, but eventually somebody might see it or they will see it and then they'll believe in you too because it only takes like one person to believe you. And then from there, it's gonna you know, build, like, build your confidence and make you wanna go further. If you do want to enter like this celebrity, famous like type of environment world, you better have a thick skin because people they'll come for you, they'll love you, then they'll hate you, then they'll love you again. And it's like all the stuff thrown at you. But if you have like a clear space and thick skin, you'll be fine.